What's up, guys? Chris Schroeder here with another video to help you guys start, grow, and scale your electronics reselling business. So, guys, today I want to talk about something that kind of popped in my head earlier, and I've been thinking about how to visualize this for a while. So, number one thing I want to tell you guys is advertising is not the same as it was five years ago. Okay, and I want to kind of explain this and and kind of go over the skill sets that are needed because my views on this have changed a little bit um, because I used to just think that um, the more you advertise, the more money you make. And while that is still technically true, the platforms change, right? So Facebook changes, Instagram changes. Uh, these, these platforms make changes all the time. And one thing that they do is they lower reach. Now I'm going to go over what reach is um, here in a minute. So, well, actually, let me just go over right now. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about really quickly. So if you run paid ads of any kind, um, what you're going to see eventually is the cost of leads go, go up. Okay. And this will happen until the end of time. The cost of advertising going up is something that's going to happen forever. Okay. And I want to show you guys what I mean here. So I'm going to pop in to, uh, let's do this one um, right here. So I spent $5 this day. Um, yesterday was my birthday, so I didn't, I lowered my ads to $1 a day, but I spent $5 on this day. All right. So, and the reach was 240 people. Okay. It's actually less than I expected, but, um, on these days I spent a total of $5. So let me pull up the actual thing that I spent for that day. Yeah. See, so I spent $4 and 97 cents and I reached 240 accounts. Okay. So <clears throat> if I go back a couple of years, uh, let me scroll all the way down because I don't delete usually anything. Uh, let me find some older reselling campaigns. Uh, da, 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 da. These are all group ads. My last account got deleted, unfortunately, but yeah, I don't think I have any on this account, but um, I'm going to kind of go over what I mean, like by the reach. So reach essentially, guys, is simply eyeballs. That's it. OK, that's the people actually scrolling your, past your ad and things like that. OK, so one thing I want to go over today is how reach has gone down over the years, why it has gone down, and then um, how my views have kind of changed on this a little bit. Um, and I now believe that advertising it is still a very important skill set, but I believe there are two skill sets that are more important than ads. Okay. And you probably won't hear this from anybody else. I'm just being real. Everybody out there is just going to tell you, you need to spend more money. And while that is true to reach the same amount of eyeballs you could five years ago, there's two skills that I'm going to go over with you guys that I think are more important than advertising itself. Okay. So I have a little diagram here. I, I hope you guys can understand it by the time I'm done with this. Um, so I started Facebook ads back in 2017. Okay. I started back in 2017, right? And at that time, I would be able to spend $5 and hit 25 eyeball, 2,500 eyeballs. All right. So what that means is basically I would spend five. And then Facebook would show my ads to 2,500 people, okay? So now something that I usually see is we usually get a message between anywhere from two to 300 people, okay? So I would spend $5 and, you know, I would, let's just say every 250 people, I would get 10 leads, all right? That was a normal thing, okay? Facebook ads back in 2017 were insane. It was wild, <laughs> Um, and for those of you that have been, been in this business long enough, you know this, okay? So $5 would hit 2,500 people back in 2017. Now, as more people and businesses have joined the platform, um, it has since gone up, okay? So, and it hasn't gone up in terms of like, like monetarily wise, it's actually gone down in reach, okay? So you're spending the same amount, but getting less this is typical, you know, Facebook overlord type crap, but it is what it is, unfortunately. So here in 2021, I was spending $5 and hitting 1500 people. Okay. So I lost a thousand eyeballs. Okay. In, in just a couple of years, in four years, right. 
I lost a lot of a lot of eyeballs. Still profitable though. The whole thing is still profitable. But I was now spending five dollars and hitting fifteen hundred people. So I'm dealing with a larger pool of, or a smaller pool of people than I was back in 2017. Now back in 2017, I didn't know this. I didn't know this was going to happen. I can't read the future, right? It sucks, but it is what it is. So we deal with what we got, right? Here we are in 2023. <laughs> Our $5 now hits 300 eyeballs, okay? So that's a big difference compared to what we used to get, right? So how do we combat this, right? So we're spending the same amount, but getting less leads. How do we combat this? So with this happening, this is this is what this is something you would call um, an uncontrollable. Okay. This part is you can't control this. You can't control Facebook. You can't control Meta. You can't control these things. You can't control ads. All right. So you can only pay for them. So uh, one of my mentors told me one time, he was like, you simply need to control the controllables. And I was like, okay. That makes sense. So I just control the things that I can control and just, you know, do that. Sorry, it looks like I'm a little off here. But um, so what are the controllables? Okay. So the controllables for this would be uh, appraising items correctly, making offers and negotiation, and then also follow up. Okay. So back in 2017, you could do, you could just run ads, not follow up with any leads and crush it right? Like that's the way it was, right? You could do the same thing in 2021, but can't really do the same thing now. Okay. You're getting less leads, right? So what are the controllables here? So the controllables uh, simply put are, you have to number one, be appraising correctly, making offers correctly. Okay. Number two, um, negotiation. You have to get good at negotiation. That is a 100% of controllable, you can get better at persuading people to sell you their devices. That's a real thing. You can, okay? Don't depend on ads to close your deals for you. That's not how this works. Ads do not close deals. Ads only give you the opportunity to close the deal, okay? While advertising is still incredibly important, it actually just comes down to you and you being able to close the deal, okay? And then uh, like the I would say the third and the fourth thing that we can actually control are number one, follow-ups. Guys, I guarantee you, if you follow up with your customers, they will sell to you. I know, mind-blowing, right? And then uh, the fourth thing that we can actually control is um, customer service. So creating repeat customers and things like that. So with us, with with less eyeballs actually seeing our stuff, that's those are the things that we really want to focus on um, when it comes to this, okay, is if you can focus on the things that you can actually control, like appraising, making offers, negotiation, follow-ups, and creating repeat customers, that's actually the most important part of this business. Um, and it actually took me a long time to figure that out. But remember, this stuff we can't control. We can't control what these companies do when it comes to lowering. Um, I mean, they're making more money, but we as the consumers of their product, right? We basically going to the Facebook store and we're buying eyeballs. That's all we're doing, right? So it's our job to turn those eyeballs into customers, okay? So we need to focus on how to turn them into customers for the long haul rather than just for the short, short term, okay? So I hope this makes sense. Um, and this is just something that I wanted to explain because you know I get a lot of people that are like, Facebook ads aren't what they used to be. And that's true. They aren't. And they, the only thing that is guaranteed is, number one, you're going to die. And then number two, ad costs will always go up. <laughs> so that is never, as a um, as a platform ages, there it, it becomes more credible. More people are going to use it. More people are going to enter that market. Therefore, the costs are going to go up. It's a simple supply and demand thing, right? So- I hope you guys understand this and I hope it makes sense. And I want you guys to focus a little bit more on, you know, keeping the customers that you're already getting. And, uh, and that's really how you're going to make your money is by, is by creating repeat customers, following up with your customers. And uh, that's the way. Okay. So also diversifying what you buy. Um, one thing I have noticed is um, 
like if you run ads for like cameras or game consoles, for example, uh, you will have a better reach. Um, and I can actually show that, I believe. Um, at least last time I ran that, it did anyway. Let me see here. So, pop in here. Which one of these has the most reach? Okay, so this one has the most reach. I don't think this is a game console ad though, but this one has, yeah, so these actually have more reach than most, um, which is funny because I think they're the highest cost ones. So yeah, this one has the most reach, which is interesting, but um, game consoles and other ones like that, camera ads, let me see, I have some camera ads in here, I believe, MacBook ads, PS4, so impressions, I have to actually look here a little bit more. Yeah, so these are getting a little bit more reach than say like these down here and stuff. These for some reason are getting higher reach, which is interesting. But that's uh that's just what I kind of wanted to go over today, guys. Um, focus on building your customers, uh, building your repeat customers, providing amazing customer service, and I guarantee you, you will have customers for the long haul. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this stuff. And, um, I'm look, you know, we do have a couple of spots for Recelerator open right now. So make sure to apply below. You got to be making $1,000 a month in profit to even apply. Um, and if you're not doing that, then I recommend joining my starter kit uh, so that you can get there. All right. We want to we want to work with you. We want to help you and we want to earn your business. So anyway, guys, see you guys later. Have a great day. Keep crushing.